Hello, this is Mike Fauché, and in this video, we're diving into the IOCrest 10 gigabit USB 4 external Ethernet adapter. In addition to USB 4, this adapter is compatible with Thunderbolt 3, 4, and 5. If you're interested in finding out how this 10 gigabit adapter performs, stick around for the rest of this video. And if you find this useful, please like and subscribe as it really does help support the channel. First, let's look at what's inside the box. Inside, you get the adapter itself, the USB-C Thunderbolt cable, a user's manual. Examining the adapter, you'll notice it's a straightforward design. The entire body is essentially a large aluminum heatsink, designed for passive cooling with no fans. On one side, you have the RJ45 Ethernet port and the USB-C connector that attaches to your computer or laptop. On the other end, you mainly have the ventilation holes that are used to keep airflow and keep the device cool. There's really not much in the way of setting this up. Just connect the USB-C Thunderbolt cable to your system's USB 4 or Thunderbolt port and plug in an Ethernet cable from the device to your 10 gigabit switch. In Windows, you may need to download and install a driver, but in Mac OS, it'll just be detected and work out of the box. So now let's discuss performance. I conducted tests on both my MacBook Air and a current late model ASUS Windows laptop, and the results were a little bit different between Mac OS and Windows. On my Mac, I consistently achieved close to the full 10 gigabit bandwidth, reaching around 9600 to 9700, both on the upload and download speeds. It works straight out of the box, no drivers, no settings. However, on Windows, performance was a little bit slower on the upload. I reached around 9800, download speeds, and 8073 upload speeds. In addition, when I first plugged the adapter into the Windows laptop, it didn't recognize. I tried a couple of different manufacturer's devices, and they all acted about the same. It turns out that with many USB 4 10 gigabit adapters, you may have to temporarily disable BitLocker if you're using it so that the device can be recognized, and then you can re-enable it after it's been detected. It took me a while to figure this out and to find the problem, and it's apparently an issue on some of the USB 4 adapters. I tried several different adapters and had the same problem, and they all worked fine after disabling BitLocker. Finally, let's address the topic of thermals. As with most 10 gigabit devices, this adapter generates a lot of heat under sustained load, particularly during large file transfers. However, in my testing, the passive cooling appears to be sufficient and the heat levels I saw during my testing were really good. It operated at around 20 degrees cooler than the Sonnet Solo Thunderbolt adapter that I've been using on a daily basis for the last couple of years. At roughly $130 at the time of this video, this IOCrest device is less than the others in this space. Its closest competitors around $30 more, and it's roughly $130 less than the Sonnet Solo that I've been using. This is actually a really good value, especially if you're on a Mac system where the performance was awesome and rivals anything else that I've tested. Overall, the IO Crest is well built and it's a great value. I'll leave some links in the event that you want more information on it or you want to pick one up. That's about it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.